484 and 487 at the engine house. We're coming live from the Coombers on Toltec, Scenic Road, on the back of the parlor car, all the way up to Ozier and back. So once we get moving, I'll start videotaping more. Goodbye.
this is the Cumbridge Toll Ticket. We're on Lovato Trestle right now. All right, we're getting ready to go. We got the engines hooked up. You may want to hold on. We're getting ready to move. Okay. Yeah. The train's on this side where I'm standing right now. Yeah. Just hold on to something because we got the 484 hooked up. 487 and 484. Trying to find the grade.
now we have switch trains to 315 and 463. We'll get going here hopefully on time. So I'll start filming when we go. Bye.
Uh, it looks like he's stopping. Uh-oh. I wonder if the switch is in alignment. Up there where he's slowing down. Oh, yeah, he's slowing down. That's right. He has to cross the switches. Because he comes forward usually in. If the switch is worse. Okay. We got Lucky. The train's right here. We can see him right here. Okay. You might want to stay on that side. Not cross the track. Because he's coming real fast. <laughs> here he comes. Don't eat them. Right. Yeah, th thanks for offering anyways. I'm fine. I'm used to the sounds like this. Okay. You better hurry before he comes. Yeah, no, I'm booking it now. Good. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's not real loud. Unless he gets close. Back here so I can be able to him. I would stay inside the coach if I were you. Safely that way. Here we go. The coach cars, right? These are the ones that we'll be right on, yes. See how it says Santa Fe on them? They're different cars. The ones up in Antonito says like Chama and Antonito. Yeah, see here's Trauma in New Mexico. There's one that says Antonito and Colorado. You can't stand on that back platform though, right? You can. Oh, you can? Yeah, you can. The day on, if it's open and stuff, because the day I take the train, when I'm on tomorrow, I'm going to have it closed half of the trip. It's not going to be open. All right, well. let's go follow the train, I guess. You ready, guys? You got your shots? Yep. You got them? <laughs> Alright, come on, let's go. Even though I'm still recording, who cares? I'm gonna pause it right here. I'm still take the same power as usual. We're just waiting for a highball. There it is, just like that. And we got it. Let's get you back in your seat. Yeah. 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 on to something because we're going to pick up a little bit of speed. Okay. Yeah, because it's going to be... Just, hold, just hold, we can hold this if you want. Just right against the rail there, hold on to each other. Okay. Hold on real tight. You got a great picture of sunglasses That's off. That. There it is, just like that. Very nice. Let me make sure all eyes were open. And let's get you back in your seats. I have my own, so I'm good. Okay. Thank you. Anyways. Thanks, Wade. Good one. You will. I think we're ready to signal. 
here on the rear where you can see one if you want. Excuse me there. Oh sorry. I don't know what side you were going on. This is what I said I would move. Let's hold on, here we go. Just be careful next time. Off I go. Come on right behind us. You might want to hold on to something. We right the back of the train's alone. Yeah, I know. But I'm just saying for safety reasons. We have to say that. It's mandatory by law. We have the bridge on this side, so that we're coming over right now to get out of the yard. So I know, and you can also look on the other side okay. too. Perfect. Thank you. We, we got both sides, so. That's right. But when we do cur tur turn that way, you'll see the engine on, on, on that side, and on my not on my side. You want to go in that open car, the Celtic Vista? You can. It's always you're welcome to. Thank you. Yep. Alright, how are you? Camp Brown, we're going to have a, a lot of them come out in just wait. Every morning and every night. Oh, careful. Oh, there they are. Yeah, the water's a little higher. Yeah, I noticed it coming in town yesterday. Oh, it is. This is the only first half of the rocking session, so there's going to be more along the way. If you want, if you look on that side, the train's on your side right now. Alright. Yeah? Still, we you see a bottle of trestle. It's the same one like that, but better. You know what I mean? Sunglasses on at all times if I were you, because the sled's gonna get in your eyes. We have some black, thank you. I said eyes, too, if you wanna know. There we go, push cross in.
Let's see her again. Yeah, I've been here. I, I, last time I was here was 2014 opening day. The last time I was here. That was, I've been waiting for the last year, the whole time. We got a new steamer up there. Not that one. It's a C16. The Bumblebee we moved over to Durango. She's restored and running. She's moving to this railroad. I'm bringing her here. And she's going to be stationed here from now on. The 268. The 268. The Bumblebee? The one that's up in Gunnison? That's the one that's coming here. We started in April and steamed up right now. She actually passed for the first time. FRA inspection. And I have a 30 years extended on it, that's what I have, so I don't have to worry about it for 30 years. Oh. You should see how poor I was when the train was backing up from the pool area. Me and another guy were put on the tender fitting it in. That was fun. Oh. Haley said, no, now how to back it up. But see, I didn't remember the hand signals to back up, how far we go, but at least I figured it out now. Hey, I like practicing, that's what I like to do. Get some practice in and stuff. But yeah, I played this one. I played, I got the Kumba to Totally Trains on the Trains 2009. On the nail gauge routes that they have on there, drive the engines. I know the controls. Just rolls off today, huh? Yep, he's on Sunday Monday too. Nice. Don't know. I, you know. 
of all the years I've been to them, on this planet, yeah. I've never seen anything like this before. This Me either. This one's going to be really interesting. Yes, it is. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Well, Bernie's not giving up. He, you know, you got to give the guy credit. Man, he oh, yeah. just like an energizer bunny. He just keeps going. And, and then there's a um, libertarian running, too. Gary Johnson, the former governor, oh, is he, is he is running for libertarian. Boy, that's pretty quiet though. <laughs> he doesn't compete. If you're a libertarian, you don't do com ads. I learned. Yeah. But he's hoping to take some of the votes away from either one. Well, he'll get a few, well, at least in New Mexico. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Sounds like we're slowing down. Just a, a little steeper right Yeah, the 4%. Yeah, I know what you mean. See what we didn't double head the train? Oh, well, we double headed Saturday. Yeah, but you usually do it for Memorial Day too. It's on YouTube if you look. It's the Memorial Day double header. So we have bigger numbers than we wrote, but we don't even have 100 now. Yeah, that's a good thing. That's why we didn't have that other coach in front of the other car. It just fits the train right now by itself. What happened to the original small um, concession card? Because I know the Santa Fe is the concession card now. You should have a smaller one than that one. You mean the, you mean the box car? It looks like a box car, yeah. That, it's in the yard. I don't think you guys ever use it. Not on this train we would. We, we might use it on a, a freight special. Yeah. Or uh, a cinder bear. Yeah. We want, we want these cars. Yeah, I know. Whatever happened to the poles? There used to be poles right here. Did they cut them off or something? Because, yeah, we used to have poles here where we had flags on them. Oh, yeah. This time we don't have flags. I think the other guy did it. We should have on Memorial Day. Huh? Nobody was thinking about it. Yeah, because I gave Lorraine the twitchy tights for the flags that I got from the French shed. She had plenty of them. Pass right now. We just sorry I had to cut off at the last minute. We had audio was all dead. We should be heading into this. This time we'll just walk through. This way. We want to come on. Like 49 is doing good, pretty good by itself. No slippage he was yet. Seven cars is max. Yeah, I know. And then sometimes you have to add an extra car. I know, but it struggles. Yeah, I know. That's why you have to have a double header.
past. Now we're out on our way to Ojo right now. That's smoke? Uh-oh. Oh, that's smoke. Oh, that's smoke. Maybe, maybe not. Because I know yesterday there was two deers in the yard that I got pictures of. If you know what I mean. Oh, that smoke is real heavy over there. We're coming up to. I just hope there's not a fire.
Here comes the train for 44 is coming back from the Y. Nice to get the bell ringing. I think to go. <laughs> it's smaller than this was thing. The other conductor. I think there's one in the engine. Come on, Ray. Where are you? Oh, this is a good wheel slippage. Footage.
Hey Ray! Keep a watch on the brakes! Two SD cards already. This is my <laughs> second one right now. Guess some of them don't hold that much stuff. <coughs> I have one that says 5, 10, 15, 20, and then 32. So not many. And there's one that even says 18 on it.
was doing a while back. channel from Jonathan Cordova with the Bumblebee on it, not the 483, please. And there is music on the first half of it. Yeah, there's music on the first half of it. Yeah, there's music on the first half of it. Attacked by all these flies. Oh, yeah, you can have them. You keep them out here. Well, I'm trying to, that's what I'm trying to do.
Uh, that Tracer has on it? It's on order right now on Amazon. I just looked it up. Did you order one? Yeah, I or it was ordered already a while back, I guess. Oh, you should have waited. I, it just came in. It just, they just notified me now. Oh, I should have waited. I could have just... It wasn't me who made it. It was my aunt. Yeah, the pressure looks like it's good here. I told Alan the idea that we thought of. Yeah, what did he say? He said that's possible. We yeah. can have it done by this year. Maybe. We can. Because all we have to do is ask the people in the Indian house to make it. Yeah. They, they have all the tools there. Yeah, no, they could. They could. Yeah. And I can also get it from the shed where the friends go. Or we have tools and stuff, everything for it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. It yeah. would be, I think it would be nice. Yeah, <laughs> it's worth it. It has yeah. its advantages. Because on the Dragon Ball Silver, all the platforms have chairs on them. Yeah. On the private class ones. Thank you. 
Hello? I'm watching. like this since 2 o'clock. Yeah. It started raining here too. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah.
hold on to something because it's a little wet. So I might want to hold on to something. Okay. Once we get up to Windy Pass, we're going to start to climb. The big climb. The 4% grade. What are you doing? Oh, are you a uh, camera? Mm -hmm. Very good.
it's not.
John.
don't happen to have a pocket knife on you by chance, do you? No. Can we cut the twisty ties? Quick, please. I'm gonna take this off. That way I can let the camera rest for a while. There's four of them, so you might have to cut like at least four of them. The other side, unless you have a trick. Is it alright that I stand out here? Mm -hmm. We're just about to cross Lovato. Yeah, just hold on tight. Thanks, John. Back down below that we're going to be going on. So we're going to do a scoop up ahead. The closure is down down there. Thank you. 
we even hit down too much rain up here. That's what it's going to be at. And we can get snow this season that we were hoping for. And this whole area will be under water. Because we've had actually water come up almost to the track. Let me say this, it's not fun when you have to go through wet track. These are old arrow ties that used to be put right here. They're heavy. They're too heavy. You can't. Well, they are. They're over 100 pounds. You know, you want to know how many it takes? You want to know how many it takes to pick up one of those? Four. That's a nightmare. Chama. But I'm going all the way now. Oh, good. It's time for a change. I've if seen you're, her. If you're hanging out, and are you taking the bus back to Chama? Yep. Okay. I was going to say, if you're hanging out, you can slide me down. Because um, what time does the bus, what, what time are we due to get in? Five, I think. And the bus leaves, gets back to Chama at six. Oh, yeah, that's right, huh? Yeah. So we don't even have much time to look around at Antonio, do we? Not really. I say if you if you hurry, the lighting will be real uh, will be real nice to get some shots of 168. And the rotary, because that's out. So they had to clean up the book box to make sure that the uh, yeah for the rotary yeah, yeah they could make sure that it was all ready for the inspector. So I guess we got that job. You? I feel sorry for you. I thought it would take two hours. I thought it would take two or three hours at the most. It really? took me two days. Two days, yeah. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, we missed it earlier through the um, before we got to Osher. Two planes flew right to the canyon. Oh, cool. Yeah, we had two Air Force. Did you see what kind of planes they were? They had four propellers on them. Oh, probably C-130s. C-130s, yeah, I think that's what it was. They test in here all the time. How are they able to fly through here with these? In a way. Um, they can't. Not really. No. I mean, they're just flying through the narrow canyons. Built They'll turn them on their side and fly them to that gorge. Now that is amazing to see. And how they navigate it to the other side oh, yeah. without crashing. Well, that's the whole. This is a whole training ground for them here. Yeah. For uh, Afghanistan. And Baghdad. Yeah. Your first time riding all the way through, huh? Welcome. Thanks. This is my home side here. Yeah. See, I'm at, my home side is Chama. Oh, cool. I'm in Albuquerque, so three hours away. Yeah. At least one good thing is, yesterday I was out pulling weeds. Mm -hmm. The cold triple track was so bad. Oh my goodness. It's still worse. There's double the weeds that I pulled. Remember the fence? Yep. Oh, cool. How's it going? Good. How's it going? Fine. Oh, 
Oh, oh Phantom Curve or yeah. something like that? Yeah. Where all that... The where all the derailments happened. Oh, no, that's a... Uh, that's a... Uh, oh, yeah, derailments up at uh, Phantom. Yeah, but, uh... The real thing was that Toltec, or the... What's that called? Calico cut. I don't know. Calico cut, yeah. That has been given us pay for, uh, what, 130, 139 years now? Because of that cut? Sliding down on it. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can see it. This one, too, here. Not as much. No. Whatever happened to those cars after the accident? I guess they were scrapped. Oh, uh, they're still coming. Huh? The uh, sheep cars? Were they sheep cars or passenger cars? Uh, which accident were you talking about? Because there were two that happened. The one that happened at Phantom Curve was the one train that was at night coming through. Uh, the um, the head-on? 169 and 411? Yeah. Uh, 169 is actually an Alamosa. I know it's an Alamosa. Uh, so they pulled that one out, but I'm pretty sure they took the torch to 411. Yeah, because um, 411 is no more. They yeah. said it's not even anymore. I'm pretty sure they should have busted up and keep running. Cause it, wasn't that an express train or something? Express and a freight head on. I wonder what ever happened to the express cars. If they're uh, still down where they are. If uh, there's still freight car bodies down there. It wasn't here, it was actually probably a little further that way. Yeah. Uh, it was just it was it was between Rock Tunnel and uh California. I wonder if you guys are ever going to bring those freight cars up from down there. Uh, not. Do you think they're still in good condition even? No. I mean, we've got that, we've got better condition freight cars in the restoration here. Yeah. In the yards. True. Yeah. Would it be worth displaying them at least? Maybe. See, I think that would be, a, I think that would be more of a, like a, one of the joint um, projects with the friends. Yeah, but how would we get down there exactly to go get them? Now there's the real thing. <laughs> you can't go from Osier out there. Or could you? I think you could run a, I think you could run a, um, a flat with a train, close it onto it. You know that, uh, you know that, uh, work, that work train that they have, uh, an old diesel work train from the, uh, they used to do a shop up in the restoration shed if you ever get a chance. Yeah, but uh, I'll bet you that would probably be started up on this side, pulled over to Antonito, put them up there. Yeah, but I don't think it'll happen for another 20 years if if they still last this long. There we go. They're probably in worse condition than we thought. Oh, here's the Phantom Curve. Phantom Curve, big, uh, big oh, dangerous yeah. zone. Oh, Phantom Curve's actually been pretty good to us. You got lucky. Yeah. All this rock likes to stay where it is. Yeah. I'm going to take a quick picture and then I'll get out of your way. That's all fine. country, you know? It's God's country. Yep. Yeah. The little flat spot right there? Yeah. That's one of our little, uh, little uh, summer cabin. Wait, where? That little flat spot, I'd love to put a little summer cabin right there. Oh, yeah. Good luck with that. Now, where do you live? Do you live in Antonito? Or yeah, in Antonito. Yeah. And you do this all summer long? All summer long, then I go back to Dallas. Going to school out there, or to your Nah, it's just that where I live right now. Oh, okay. I'm from Houston, Texas. But I'll probably be moving somewhere out west after this. Oh, really? Yeah. How far out west do you want to go? No, not yet. I might even move up to New England somewhere. It all depends. My wife's still in school. She's on her last semester of her neuroscience degree. So we're looking at grad school for her right now. Not bad. So it depends on where. Yeah, it does. It also depends on the money. Yeah. <laughs> we will pay her. Yeah. Exactly. Almost the 
80 pounds of pressure. What's up? We're almost to 80 pounds of pressure on the brakes. Filling them back up. Huh? Filling them back up. Yep. And it was at 90 when we got up here. It's at to Ozer. Are they in the running brake test? Huh? You did the running brake test, check it all. Yep. This isn't the side you have to worry too much about. Anyway. I don't have anything steeper than a one and a half. Yep. Do you hear RGS 20 is back at um, Colorado Road Museum? Oh, really? He's back. Oh, nice. They're finishing up the rest of the work there. And they did a steam up test on her. Ooh. She can run under her own power. She's nice. certified at 120 PSI. That's what she's certified at. That's not bad. No, and Good. she's coming here. We actually have plans. Yeah. Well, she's that. not completely finished yet. They don't have the cab on her yet. They still have other things to put on her, but yeah. How long should be on, How long she been underway? I could I, say many months. Strasburg had her for a while. Did Strasburg use it? Strasburg did the full main boiler work. Ah, uh, Strasburg was doing all that. Yeah. I could have sent her here. I guess we would have need more staff. But we're hoping to one of these days be off like that for the, especially for the narrow gauge stuff. Yeah. Pretty cool. Must be coming up to something for them to be whistling. Huh? Stand right here and stop going into the tunnel. Oh, that's right, my tunnel. Yep. Okay. Past 311. Huh? Past 311. Yep, my post 311. I'm going after RGS 41 and not to the farm. They never run that engine anymore. You want to buy it? Uh, I'm actually trying to acquire it. DNF. Shop crew own it. Really? Yeah, they're old timers that used to that still work at Drango own RGS 41. So they're just loving it basically, I mean basically it's a static model over there. It runs. Oh, it does run. Yeah. But I want to get it out of there and turn it back to coal. It's an oil burner. Wow. It shouldn't be too hard to turn it back to oil. Only oil. Trick, the only locomotives that should be oil burners are the ones that were built as Huh? The only engines that should be oil burners are the ones that were built as I don't like what they're doing with their uh, over there at the DNS. Well, they have to because of that lawsuit. And the fire. Oh, yeah, here comes my tunnel. Yeah. They said DNS started it. Yeah, it did. Yep. For sure. Oh, yeah, mud tunnel. This is the shortest one. Yeah. Out of rock tunnel. I read all the FRA reports on the, on the DNS fire. And? I do too. Well, um, it came down to their fire patrol. Yeah. They weren't. They weren't adequately prepared. They weren't adequately trained. Exactly. We take our fire patrol. Seriously, yeah. And you know, for years and years, people are like, "Why are we doing this? All this? Why are we doing it?" All this. Uh, yep. All this. Life. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's why they're turning 497 down oil burner. 18 is still there. They're turning into a freaking K35. They lose 2,000 pounds of traction force by Yeah. 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 This is Rock Tunnel that we're in right now. It's going to be dark for a while. We don't have any light in here. Because so this is all the light you get from up there, and then we're in here, and the next one is Mud Tunnel. Huh? This one and the next one up ahead. Yep. There you go. Full we'll season view of. Pulte Gorge. Because 
that mountain right here was blasted with dynamite. Yeah. This is all that made. U.S. Army did this for us, the military, when we were building this line. For their practice runs, would come out here and make holes for us. Now, mud tunnel is a whole different story. Yep, the one that's made all out of mud with um, railroad ties holding it up. Really? Yep, because it's a support beam along the whole tunnel. You'll see it when we go through. Because the entrance even has the railroad ties on it. I think we're coming up. We should be coming up to it pretty soon. The tunnels are real close to each other. Thing you don't want to do is lose your phone out here because you yeah. cannot recover it. Sure. There's no road down through Toltec Gorge at all. card number two anyways. I filled up a whole SD card on the first card. Oh, did you? Hour worth of footage, yeah. All the way from Chama. I was recording all the way up to Lobato. And then I would do it between the pass and stuff. Does it record sound too? Yep. Well, my voice is on your... Who cares? It's fine. <laughs> okay. Hey, I was talking the whole way up. Plus, it's in 4K, so who cares? I don't. Plus, this goes on to YouTube, so I'm not real worried about it. After it's done, I process it. So what I do is I upload it raw. I don't even edit it. I leave it as is. Yep. Because a lot of people said it's better unedited than edited. Which I've learned it's better. Careful of these trees. I believe it's coming up. Rock tunnel. Oh, that gorge. My tunnel. Yeah, it should be next. Because that one is not as dark as this one was. Probably see it when on your end when we make the curve. Yeah, yeah, it's still straight away. Yep. So it's on the long the straighter way or it's snowy. I think we have the curve and then my tunnel. It was right before um another like tanglefoot curve but we're going to go through whiplash curve so it should be coming up after that or unless
How far are we from my tunnel? My tunnel? Yeah. And I know we just went through rock tunnel. It's going to take about nine minutes, eight minutes. That's what um, I was wondering. About two miles. Yeah. Do you think 168 is out running today? Uh, no, but she was yesterday. I know she was out yesterday. Did you get pictures of her? I wasn't here. Oh, wait. How far did she go? Uh, 287 and a half. Yeah, I see, was I was in. The, I was on the curb. Oh, see, I was in Chama. I missed it. Oh, man. Now, they're not going to be running tomorrow or today, but they might tomorrow. Yeah. So, I don't think I'll be on the curb for that one. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. if you can, tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm off to Durango. Oh, that's Sadly. Did you buy your tickets already? I'm just going up to Railfan for the night. Oh, cool. But yeah, that was fun going through Rock Tunnel. Uh, yeah. I never been went through it before. Oh, you just did you? Uh...
Be careful up there.
ちにいるわけやと思わない。Four ninety four, uh, four ninety five. Four ninety five, folks, coming up with the freight cars around it. Sixty-eight. 